Tonight's big story, a Tempe neighborhood is now the latest scene of violence connected to a house party shooting in the valley. Dozens of shots fired early Saturday morning and hundreds scattered from the home. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. Tonight, police are still searching for answers, but a top law enforcement expert says that three major factors are contributing to these incidents. Team 12's Jonathan McCall joins us with a look at what they are. Jonathan. Yeah, Mark Kariba, Art Acevedo has been in charge of police departments in Austin, Houston, and Miami. He says here in Arizona, a combination of the state's loose laws on guns combined with short-term rentals and drugs and alcohol have created a perfect firestorm for these problems. It's but for the grace of God, no one was shot. In a matter of seconds, bullets raining across a Tempe neighborhood. The sounds of shots sending folks scrambling from this house party early Saturday morning. The scene unusual to neighbors here. It was a little scary, you know, I mean, it's something that like I wouldn't expect from this neighborhood. But not to law enforcement across the valley. In recent months, house parties and other large gatherings have turned violent and even deadly after a series of shootings. Strangers come, strangers congregate, strangers get in an argument, strangers get high, strangers end up shooting each other or uh, someone that's not even armed and uh, everybody scatters. Art Acevedo has been a police chief in Houston, Miami and Austin. He says a combination of social media, access to guns in Arizona, quick tempers, drugs and alcohol, along with the availability of short-term rentals have created a perfect recipe. And so it's a perfect storm. It's a perfect opportunity for things that go wrong for these tragedies to occur. Unlike at a bar club or restaurant, he says there's no one checking for weapons before walking through the door at a house party. Zena Shikinjanski's brother and cousin were killed at a house party shooting over the summer. Her family, among many others, still looking for justice. It's like the community has become accustomed to it. That's why it's important for our family to fight so hard. But Acevedo says that cracking these cases is tough. Sometimes it could take years to solve. Some, he says, may never get solved at all. Usually it's not going to be in a location like a business uh, park where you have many other cameras. You have a lot of tools that uh, we can uh, crowdsource in law enforcement. Frequently these crimes do go unsolved or they take a very long time to solve. Acevedo says another problem getting witnesses to cooperate is another problem that they face as well. If you happen to notice a short-term rental in your neighborhood hosting these events, he says make sure you do your part and call police. And if you are planning to host an event for your family, he advises make sure you don't post on social media that you're having it and know exactly who's coming. Jonathan McCall, 12 News. All right.